Oh, yes, he's been in and around the New South Wales Origin squad for a while now. And how exciting it is to see Appy Coruscant promoted into the 17 for Wednesday night at Seabus Super Stadium. And he joins us tonight on 100% footy. Hello, Appy. How you going, guys? Uh, great, mate. Great to have you on the show. Uh, what an exciting moment for you. Uh, how does it feel knowing that you're going to be getting your hands on the footy? And, and do you know what role you'll be playing off the bench on Wednesday night? Yeah, yeah, definitely excited, mate. Uh, I can't wait to get out there. You know, it's one of those things growing up you just want to do. Um, so, you know, hopefully get to kick that off on the weekend or on Wednesday night. So, um, it's great. But, um, yeah, yeah, love love being around Cam, man. It, it's, it's amazing. And, yeah, thanks for that. Freddie gave me a shot, that's for sure. Happy now, you've been a part of the first two camps. Now, the hearts have changed for this camp. Has the game plan changed at all? The way that New South Wales are going to play, has it changed at all? Um... Not, not down to the fundamentals of it, but, um, you know, no Nathan Cleary, no Jerome. So, you know, we're not going to try and play like uh, they're in the hearts. And, you know, Mitchell's an amazing talent and so is Jack Wine. So, you know, we'll, we'll play our game and, you know, those guys will just uh, do what they got to do and, you know, do their jobs for the, for the team. Happy the first two games of the series, you were 18th man. How difficult is it to, pl- to warm up with the players before the game, try and prepare as if you are going to play, knowing that there's every chance you won't get on the field? Yeah, it's um, it was okay for me, I guess. It's sort of the first time I was uh, in camp and you know in this sort of situation. So um, I just took it on board. You know, I try to soak everything in and you know make sure I made made the most of it. So um, I just went in there with an open mind and you know I was all about the, the positivities coming out of that game. That's for sure. Happy, have you noticed any difference in the intensity around the camp compared to the first two games leading into you know the fact you've already won the series into this third game? Um, to be honest, I haven't felt any different. Uh, if anything, this one has probably been the most intense. Um, the only time we sort of get out of the hotel was to train. So, um, everyone makes the most of it and, you know, actually enjoys being outside. So, yeah, it's been, um, it's been pretty good. And, you know, I think uh, every, out of everything, the, the intensity has gone up. Now, if you know Jerome Luai for this camp, most important question, who carries the boombox around? <laughs> <laughs> his um his partner in crime, uh Biza. Biza's been the, the man given that job now and um yeah, I think he's doing a pretty good job uh, you know, carrying the torch. Where's the white hair gone, mate? What uh and what makes you decide <laughs> one morning to get up and do that? <laughs> <laughs> it happened in quarantine the first time, so uh, you know, we started going a bit, you know, had a bit of cabin fever. Um, so the white hair came in, you know, trying to look like yours a little bit, Gus. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Uh, one nil. Yeah. One nil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's yeah, great. Be doing that again. Oh, great stuff. Uh, quick question before we let you go. Who's your roommate in camp? Uh, Liam Munn. Um, I'm actually sitting in his room now. Uh, there wasn't anywhere to do it in my room. So um, this is just some of the... From the clothes on the ground behind <laughs> <laughs> So that's this. just, uh, yeah, that's just Liam's closet at the moment. What a disgrace. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the tour, Rafi. Really appreciate it. And can't wait to see you uh, run out on the pitch in, uh, in your debut on Wednesday night for New South Wales. Thanks, mate. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for having me. Happy Corus out on his uh, from the Blues camp tonight. Gus, uh, he'd be great to have him kept when he's a player, but how would you be using him if you're Brad on Wednesday? Well, it's a very hard position to cover if he gets injured very early, Damian Cook. You know, and you get him, him, he's been playing club football, he's been playing his origin football. And, you know, you can get to the back end of the origin series and be quite worn down and quite tired. This will be a more intense game. And I think it's tactically a really weapon, real weapon for him. You know, he could, he could inject Appy at any time during the contest and we see what Coruscant Kyr- Kyr- can, can do against tiring defenders. So... Um, you know, I think it's a really smart move to have someone like that on the bench. That, that interview has given me confidence the Blues will win this game. I think he spoke about the intensity of training, which is good, and he spoke about the fact that, that the halves of Moses and Wyden is not Luai and Cleary, which they're not. Now, I, I saw Penrith play those two games when they were out. They tried to play the same way. They, the, the ball movement wasn't as slick. No, nothing was the same at all. And they, they obviously lost them two games at Penrith. You have a look at the New South Wales side, they've they smashed Queensland in both sides, uh, in both games, and now all of a sudden they're not going to play the same way because they can't play the same way. They're not the same players. So that's, that's the best part of that interview I got, I got out of that interview. After everything that's happened in the first two games, what's that interview that gives you confidence? Well, <laughs> yes, because you, you made the, the halfbacks are so important. And, and I, I saw at Penrith those two weeks those boys didn't play. Penrith tried to play the same way. You can't play the same way you haven't got the same players. Every player is different. Every player is unique. 
So the fact that New South Wales got two new halfbacks, they can't try and play the same game they played with Luai and Cleary. They're not the same players. Wyden and Moses are not the same players as Luai and Cleary. You played against Mitchell Moses, right? What was your opinion of Mitchell Moses when he first came into the game? Oh, mate, How has that kid. changed? Yeah, Mitchell Moses was a kid when he first started playing, playing against me. You know, he, I didn't really know him at all, to be honest with you. How's it changed the moment? I think this can make or break Mitchell Moses' this game. I really do. I think he's the type of player who runs running. Can he go to the next level? Can he help a team win a premiership? Can he play at the origin level? Can he go to the next level? He's, he's, he's excelled at club level. He's done well. Now he gets the opportunity to prove, prove himself now. See if he can do it or not. We watch with interest. Uh, Newhouse pairing as New South Wales looked to clean sweep the series. Stay with us.